Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and today I'm going to try something new. I've been doing this blog for about 10 years, the Moscow blog, ever since we started the business. And I have this long, continuous thread of blog posts that dates all the way back to the very beginning, all in written form. And um, lately, in the last year and a half, I've really changed my focus from still photos and writing to video. And so it just seemed like kind of a natural evolution of the blog to maybe turn it into a vlog. So today I'm going to try doing a blog post on video and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to run through a lot of the things I would talk about if I was writing out the blog, but I'll talk to the camera instead and we'll see what happens. So after returning from my trip to South America in February, I headed out immediately with the Moscow team on the Southern California backcountry discovery route. Twice a year we shut down the office, we take the entire company out for a ride. So we did that down on the SoCal BDR this year. The trip was a total blast, it was one of my favorite ones yet. That is an awesome route if you haven't ridden it yet and it has one of the advantages that it's open all winter which is super cool. We pretty much rode from the beginning of the route in the south all the way up to Death Valley and then got turned around by some weather north of Death Valley so we spent the end of the trip just exploring and riding in Death Valley. We had one injury unfortunately Amy broke her leg but she's recovered now and she's back on a bike which is great news. After the Moscow team trip we went to the Desert 100 so the Desert 100 race is a big race that happens out in Odessa Washington happens on private property it's a 50 mile course that you run twice for a hundred mile loop. Uh, I didn't actually race this year but we set up a lounge there we don't do a vendor booth instead we set up this little lounge and we try to create like a little community gathering spot for adventure riders and dual sport people in this kind of sea of brappy raciness that is the Desert 100. It's an awesome experience. We set up our little lounge with fire pits. We have some shelter from rain and from wind. Um, and it's also a group camping situation so people can camp with us. Um, so we try to get a bunch of like-minded people together. There's no charge to camp with us. If you're interested in joining us next year, I hope you will. It's super fun. Even if you don't race, it's fun to just come, do the poker run, watch the start of the race, and then hit the road. So um, hopefully you come join us for that next year. Uh, after the Desert 100, I went into Portland and did an event called the Portland Alley Sweeper, which is a really cool event put on by Motorcycle Club in Portland. And it's basically a dual sport route that happens in the city. So there's a bunch of unpaved alleyways in Portland. And so they map out this really cool kind of dual sport route in the city and you got mini bikes and rap bikes and cruisers and ADV bikes and dual sports and dirt bikes and like every kind of bike you can possibly imagine and all these folks can descend on downtown Portland and go zip around through the alleys together and there's kind of a lunch and a party after super fun event my first time going but I've heard about it for years um, so that was a neat thing I mean I literally staged for this thing in the Ikea parking lot which was <laughs> pretty cool to stage for a dual sport ride in an urban environment in an Ikea parking lot after that I loaded up the van and I headed out to Joshua Tree California with my bike for our Dusty Lizard event down there. That was a big success. Um, we had a bunch of people show up. It was totally sold out. And we did it at our buddy Owen's property on the Starfire Ranch just outside of, of Central Joshua Tree there. There's some really cool riding down there. Um, with these Dusty Lizard events, you know, we set up this neat little lounge with couches and fire pits and we work with the locals to develop uh, GPS tracks and routes that we can distribute to everybody. And then uh, we all meet up there and it's really the focus of these events is on meeting each other, on hanging out, getting to know each other, finding some epic riding, making some great new friends. And from that perspective, from every perspective, Joshua Tree was a big success. We had catered dinners on Friday and Saturday nights. We had great music. Uh, it was a super fun event and I left that just glowing and really stoked. And we're stoked to do more of these Dusty Lizard events this year. We have one coming up in Ridgeway, Colorado from August 11th to August 13th. So if you're interested in checking that out, come join us there. Check it out on our social pages, find it on Instagram, Facebook, or just Google Dusty Lizard Ridgeway. After the Dusty Lizard Joshua Tree, I loaded up the van again and I drove up into the Mojave for the Revzilla Get On ADV Fest, which was happening at Rawhide's training facility in the Mojave. That was a really fun event, H hung out with some really good friends there, got to do a bunch of riding during the day. Also got to test ride the new Harley Pan America, which was neat. I know Harley's had some mechanical issues with that bike, but it was really fun, a very comfortable bike. I was stoked to finally really get to experience it for myself, take it off road a little bit, and I was actually super impressed with it. And it was the most time I've ever spent on a Harley in my life, so that was neat too. Uh, after that, I headed to Las Vegas for Taco Moto. Our buddies at Taco Moto were putting on uh, kind of an open house banger as they called it they had dinner a bunch of vendors um, and it was just really neat kind of community event in Las Vegas cool to hang out with our friends at Taco Moto those guys sell a bunch of parts and accessories for like the kind of 500 cc class bike so if you're interested in souping up a 500 or adventurizing a 500 awesome company to check out our buddy Mike runs it he's a great guy they also make some wicked sticker kits for all your bikes so I've got them on my bike uh, and in fact Mike and his crew built my uh, KTM 500 that I've been riding for the last few years and I really really love that bike. So check those guys out, awesome company, the open house was a blast. So when I got back from that it was time to open up the Bates Mototel for the season. So the Bates Mototel, if you're not familiar with it, that's our free backyard campground for travelers coming through the gorge. We're in White Salmon, Washington and we've got like a lounge tent and we've got 14 tent sites and a parking area for trucks and vans 
and we've got a bathroom and a hot water shower and an outdoor kitchen and a lounge tent and Starlink. So it's all set up for travelers. If you're coming through the gorge, you want to visit our showroom, visit Moscow headquarters, or if you just are coming through the gorge and want somewhere to post up for a couple days and check out the gorge and go exploring and riding, you can stay there. It's free. There's no charge. All you got to do is email moscomoto at moscomoto.com. Tell us the size of your group. Um, if you're driving, what kind of rig you're bringing, and uh, the dates you want to book for, we'll put you on the calendar. That's it. Super easy. We'll send you the directions. After setting up the Mototel, we headed down to Flagstaff for Overland Expo West. So that's one of our big gathering points of the year. It's actually a huge event. It's up to 25, 30,000 people now. Uh, most of the activity is actually on the 4x4 side. That's grown a lot faster than the moto. But even uh, on the moto side, by adventure riding standards, it's still a pretty big event. And it's a great opportunity to catch up with all our friends in the industry and the press and lots of riders that come through. It was a big success for us again this year, as it always is. And super fun, despite some pretty heavy rain on Saturday, which we got through and managed to have a pretty good event for orders and also just connect with a ton of riders. After Overland Expo, I got back and my dad came out for a visit from Philadelphia. My dad has not been on a motorcycle in 15 years, and so he and I loaded up in the camper and headed down to the Albor Desert, which is actually where I am right now, and got him on a motorcycle for his first time in 15 years. He had a blast. I had a blast. We were both super nervous because he's 86 years old and hasn't been on a motorcycle in a long time. He got on my 2022 KTM uh, two-stroke 300, uh, which was a very zippy bike compared to the bikes he was riding before. And he was stoked, I was stoked, we had a blast. So we did some exploring around the Alboard in southeastern Oregon. We went hunting for obsidian. We went and found the, a really uh, rare fish species down here. And then he headed down to Arizona to visit with some family and back to Philadelphia. A big thing for Moscow and for me personally is we hired uh, our buddy Trav who uh, Travis, someone we've known for a while. He lives in the gorge, he's a wicked rider, and he's joining me uh, in a kind of content support role. A lot of my focus has shifted as Eames and Alistair have taken over a lot of the day-to-day -day management of the business. My focus has shifted to videos and to making content and Instagram and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And so it's just kind of a, a lot of work with all the shooting and the editing and then all the vehicles that we use in these content missions like trailers and campers and trucks and vans, motorcycles, all that stuff needs maintenance. And we come back and um, there's just a tremendous amount of work to do. And so instead of me trying to manage all that myself, now Trav's joining me and the two of us are going to be a two-man team and hopefully be able to produce more content and also put in more face time at events and more face time in the office than I have been for the last couple of years. So I'm very excited to have Trav on the team. If you haven't seen it already, the BDRX movie, which actually takes place here uh, on the Alvord, I was in the movie. We did a screening for it at the Moscow headquarters with a live stream. Uh, Ina, who's the head of the BDR organization, Nathan Fant, who picked the route. The three of us got together on a live stream and introduced the movie, rolled the movie. That's all available on YouTube. Check it out. The route is actually super fun and super cool. So if you haven't explored around this area, that's a great way to get introduced to it and a very easy detour if you're doing the Oregon backcountry discovery route this summer. Highly recommend. So after the BDRX, then it was time to get ready for the Unrally. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Unrally, well, you can check it out online. That's not a Moscow event. That's something um, myself and some friends do outside of the business. It happens also right here in southeastern Oregon. And uh, this year was a big success. We had a great turnout. Super fun, definitely an unusual event. Lots of riding, great party, and I've uh, got to take our mutant vehicles out and cruise around the desert. It was a ton of work to get ready for that. I started with a couple days chilling at Summer Lake, riding around Paisley, and then as soon as the Unrally was over, Trav and I took off on our first trip together since he's officially been part of Moscow and headed down towards northern Nevada. We did a loop, an off-road loop, kind of connecting the Alvor to the Black Rock and checking out some of the really neat sites along the way. So I've just returned from that. I'm back on the Alvor now doing this vlog. And uh, from here, I head back to White Salmon and uh, get back to business as usual. So we got a lot of new products in the pipeline. Andrew's been working on the Ape Cat, which is our hip sack. We got a bigger Wildcat backpack coming along. Something I'm personally really excited for is the Moscow Mule which is this big gear hauler bag we have that's designed to work both as a bag for flying trips, but then also uh, as something you can use as a trailhead bag. It sort of splits in two. It's really neat. Stay tuned. That's uh, getting ready to get ordered and get into production right now. Um, for apparel, we've got our, some of our first integrated armor apparel coming. We've got our IR jacket. Um, which we're calling the Boundary. So that's an integrated removable armor jacket. Our relationship with Rayon has been going quite well. We've been developing our knee pads and our elbow pads. The chest and back is kind of lagging a little bit behind those, but we've got armor on the way. Um, a bunch of new apparel styles come in. We introduced the Kiger and the Surveyor pant this year. Those have done well, and now it's summer, so it's a perfect time to check those out. The Surveyor is our trail riding pant, and the Kiger is our mesh pant. 
super tough kind of dual sport, almost a mesh version of the Woodsman, which has been a real success for us. We're also working on a tail bag and we have a new collection coming uh, called the Alpine Collection, which is gonna be sort of a tough but lightweight collection as well. In terms of what's next for Moscow on the event front, the Dusty Lizard in Ridgeway, again, that's August 11th to August 13th. I hope you come join us there. That one's gonna be a really big one and I think super fun. Shortly after getting back from Ridgeway, we start getting ready for Burning Man. That's always a big annual thing for me. I'm really excited for that. We got our chair camp at Burning Man. If you're going to the burn, look for the big chair and Ottoman mutant vehicles. If you come around those vehicles, you'll probably find me there or stop by chair camp and say hi. Okay, that's it. That's my first attempt at a vlog post. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go edit this thing up, add in some B-roll. We'll see what it looks like. Hope you're having a great summer, getting in lots of riding, and I hope to run into you out there on a trail somewhere or see you at a Moscow event or see you at headquarters. Come stay at the Mototel. Have a great summer. Thanks for watching.